Advanced CO2 Scheduling Setup Hello and welcome to this Intaco Setup video, in which we are going to explain the detailed scheduling options of the CO2 dosing. We have already covered the calibration of the probe and the setup of minimum and maximum pH levels, at which the device will start or stop dosing CO2. But in order to allow you to fully control the CO2 dosing based on your aquarium plant's needs, you are able to customize the CO2 dosing in very detail. Let's first look at the CO2 control scheduler. You can access it by clicking on this button on the CO2 control screen. The CO2 control scheduler follows the same logic for the days in the week and allows you to define individual schedules for each day in the week. What is different, are the options for each hour of the day. As you can see, for each hour you define the status of the CO2 control. There are three options to be defined here. By default, the option is set to auto, hence the shortcut A on the slider. If you slide this slider down, it will mean, the CO2 dosing will be switched off for given hour. In this example this means from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning. If you slide the slider up, it will mean, the CO2 dosing will be switched on for the given hour and the CO2 will flow in from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning. If you leave the slider in the middle position, you will choose the automatic handling of CO2 dosing for that hour. The device will handle opening or closing the magnetic valve based on the pH of water and the programmed light's intensity. Let's imagine a light schedule, in which your lights would start at 7 o'clock. If you wanted to start dosing CO2 one hour before the lights, you just set the on position from 6 o'clock. This way, you can set the desired mode for each hour of the day. The automatic CO2 dosing mode means, that the device will maintain the pH in the defined interval. It makes sense however, to do this only when the lights are on. When the lights are off, the plants are not able to utilize the dissolved CO2. Not only would you just waste the CO2 when dosing with lights off, you could also endanger the fish in some situations. For this reason, Intaco has built in parameter which lets you choose, at which level of intensity of the lights will the automatic dosing of CO2 start and end. It is by default set to 30%. Please note, that the 30% is aggregate of both lights channels. So if you had the lights intensity at 20 and 20%, the total aggregate will be 40% and thus the CO2 dosing would follow the parameters. You can change this parameter by clicking here. If you still would want to dose the CO2 during hours when the lights are off, you can set this parameter to zero. In this case, the light intensity will not affect the CO2 dosing. This parameter is most useful in the situation, when you want to leave the lights on a low intensity in the evening, but do not want to dose any more CO2, because the ambient light is not sufficient for photosynthesis. The last option is to temporarily close the valve. It will stay closed until you manually turn it back to auto position again. There will be a small indicator on the dashboard, when the valve will be manually closed, so you don't accidentally forget to turn the automatic CO2 dosing back on.